Well, look, he wasn't too keen to talk about Paul Pogba, but I think we probably should. Um, was this an audition for the weekend? And if it was, did he pass the audition? Um, no, probably not. But then again, I don't think he was going to play the weekend anyway. I think after the performance on Saturday, Fred and McTominay will be the two that, that are in there. Um, he wasn't great, he was sloppy. Ollie said there that he'll never question the character of the team. I don't think we've questioned the character of the team. I think they keep going, they try, but the quality today was severely lacking. But we know Paul Pogba has quality. We can't question the quality of what is going on with the performances. I don't, I don't know. I think today I just thought he took liberties a few times, just sloppy and a bit slack. There, there comes a time sometimes in games where you just need to be told sometimes, Sh sharpen up, play one or two touch. Do you know what I mean? And, and, uh, is there anybody behind him in the team? Um, listen, and I, I'm, I'm talking all top players have that conversation or someone behind them sometimes saying that to them because there, there ain't no player in the world that doesn't start every game perfect. There's games where you don't start perfectly. This is a prime example. He didn't start the game perfectly. He, he give, the, give away a few sloppy balls, mm -hmm. taking liberties. And you just need to be told sometimes. And, and, and I'm not making excuses for him because he needs, to be he needs to be telling himself that as well. But it's just that I do think this could have been an audition for the game at the weekend. And I just thought, really? thought he didn't play enough. He didn't do well enough to yeah. be able to put himself well, he, in a position to play. He is suspended, actually, isn't he, for this weekend. But it's an audition for getting back into regular Premier yeah. League football. and uh, Tricky. Um, yeah. Um, what, what did you want to say to Rio? I can't remember. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was sure he, it was going to be good yeah, as well. No, no, what I was going to say was, he's a player, we, we know him, we've been with him. What would you do with him, Scalzi? What would you, if he was there He the needs club? somebody talking to him all the time. He needs someone onto him. He needs somebody there that he totally respects. He needs experienced players behind him. And we're talking, how old is he, Pogba? 28? Yeah. 29. He's won a World a Cup. Why does he need yes, that? Yes, he's a really experienced player. But he's one of them, he'll get to 35 and he'll be exactly the same. He'll still be doing his stupid stuff where he's trying to stud roll on the ball, he's trying to hold people off, show how strong he is, show how skillful he is. And people know it now. They, they watch it all so the time. So you'll be on him every day, like one every and two touch? Every, every single day. One and two touch, pass it, and concentration. The biggest thing with Paul is his concentration. He goes away with the fairies at the time. That's why... You think of the Juventus team he played in, where he's brilliant, which is why we signed him, the by the way. The experience around him. The experience around him, the Pirlo's, the Chiellini's, Benucci's, Buffon, mm -hmm. an aggressive manager who's telling him all the time, he will need that kind of treatment till he's 35 years of age. Who's telling him that, then? There ain't no one at Man United other than probably Cristiano. I don't, I wouldn't, I don't think, I can't imagine anybody going, getting hold of him and going, listen, carry on, watch. I'm going to be on to you in half time in the change room. I don't think there's that conversation, that kind of dialogue that goes on. Maybe it's a generational thing. Maybe it's different. In our, in our change room and opposing team change rooms, these conversations will be going on the pitch and you know in the tunnel they'll be going on. And some players need that more than others.